Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Cousin Mike and I are here looking at the backside of our property. And I'm, I'm thinking we've thought about what we're going to do. We're going to make a little bit of money here with this, uh, the silage that we have cooking. And I think we'll probably get another mow this year. And if, did we do that? Do you remember, Micah, did we fertilize this? Um, No, we used roller. Oh, okay. So we should be at 100. Yeah, it's 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, we, just, we just need to plow the plow it in, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, I oh, would wow. wait. We'll wait. We'll wait because then we have to seed it and everything. We'll, we'll let it. It's okay because we're getting it for quote unquote free. Um, so we'll have to deliver those bales. I think once we get the bales sold, we're talking about what we're going to buy. And I think we'd like to get a greenhouse going um, so that way we have some income every month. But that means we'll also have to buy a water trailer, which is about, I was looking at them there. They run between eight and $10,000 for a thousand gallon one, which I think we'd have to make a couple trips, but that'd be fine. We got our pickup trucks. Um, and so I think that that's the route we're going to go. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, hang out then for the rest of the month because we've got everything done for our farm and, um, you know, at some point we'd like to grow, but I think right now we just need to keep the, the, like small growth going and not really buying a ton of new equipment or anything like that. We, we probably will just keep renting what we need. So uh, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead a month or two. So we'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. Now, since Micah and I know that we're going to make some money off of those silage bales, I'm going to go ahead and put the greenhouse in. It's going to be empty for a couple days because we can't, we need to get money to get the trailer for it. And I don't want to take a loan out yet. But there we go. So we've placed that right there. You see it, Michael? How do you think? What do you think? It looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's right next to our... Now, in real life, this would not be a good positioning because we've just put it next to the building in the shadow of the barn. <laughs> Though maybe some plants require, like, less light than others. <laughs> Oops. I didn't some think do. about that. But uh, do. it doesn't really matter uh, in this world. Well, but it's it, 8 o'clock in the morning, so... Well, true. The sun's going to... I think the sun goes up and over this way, so we should be fine. Should get plenty of sunlight. Uh, we're going to have to fill this up with water, though, before we can start growing things. But I think we'll just do everything, right? You want to grow all of it? What do you think? As long as you leave me a spot in the corner for a little special planty plant, I'll be okay. <laughs> you got a whole field for that. Anyway, the... the the point is we have our greenhouse. <laughs> I'm going green. I guess so. Uh, <laughs> another thing I'd like to get is a mulcher for our yard. But anyway, that's a whole other episode. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and fast forward time again. And I'll see you again. We'll see you in November. Hopefully in November, our grass will be ready to mow one last time. Uh, before winter hits now we have made several contracts with people downtown to clear their driveways so we'll be doing that too hey micah do you want to check before we move on to november do you want to check and see how that silage is doing he's already on his way look at that look at that uh 33 percent Ooh, wow that's slow <laughs> all right next month <laughs> okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh well i'll be back with you in just a minute well it's a brisk november morning the sun is just rising and it's our, it's almost nine o'clock but that's we have late sunrises i think we're gonna have to the grass has not grown like to the full stature but it's we're gonna have to mow it as it is because if we get into december it's gonna it's gonna go back yeah we're just gonna, yeah we don't want to lose yeah, it'll re it'll recede. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and check the fertilizer. Let's see how our silage bales are doing too. Not a lot of income coming in on the farm right now, but we got enough to make do. These should be ready. They're seventy percent, so I'm gonna say they'll be ready to tomorrow. And uh, we'll have new bales also. <laughs> I'm bringing, I'm bringing you your tractor, Mr. Micah. Okay, I'm starting up the uh, the white. Well, do you want to just trade for the day? What's that? I do the white? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So I'll let you do the mowing then, and I will 
Did we we rented a bailer, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oh geez. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab it. Forgot about that. <laughs> we don't have our own bailer. That would that definitely would be a, a little bit higher on the list of things that we need, huh? So let's take a look here from the store. What do we got available? Nothing used. There's an RSM header. Uh, let's see. Animals, bales, bales. We need to rent. Uh, my brain is not seeing it. There we go. We need to get a wrapper. Do we use what? Do we use the class Uniwrap? Is that what we went for? I think so. Yeah, this is the cheapest one. Well, we know this thing works, so we'll lease it again. Four thousand. Oh God. <laughs> well, there goes every last dollar we had. <laughs> Let's hope our taxes don't go up. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to. Thankfully, we don't have to file until March, which means they're not going to be due until October of next year. Hello, Micah. Hello, Arthur. So, Micah. So I'm assuming we're not gonna bother windrowing or anything like that, correct? <laughs> uh, we don't. It's it's a it, it'd be nice, but we just can't really afford to do that right now. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks clear here. Clear up. Clear down. This guy turns his head so slow. You know, you're stiff in the morning. Yeah, and the older you get, the stiffer you get. <laughs> in the wrong places. Yeah, right. I stand up and, you know. Your back cracks. Yeah, and, and I go t up. tumbling towards the dresser, narrowly miss falling out the window and stumble into my bathroom with barely enough time to spare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, puppies. Hold on one second. I'm going to head down to the shop, guys. We'll see you there. Yeah. This tractor may not have enough horsepower. Oh, no, we're getting it. That one has more than this one, I thought. Yeah, I did, too. Um, maybe. It says it's got 185, but I have my doubts. Uh, but I am coming up the hill at two miles an hour. Oh, three. Oh, it's up to three, yeah. Oh. It just shifted to, f yeah, there we go. <laughs> no. Oh, this, he doesn't know, my farmer doesn't know the trick of uh, proper shit. Yeah, you're supposed to keep the truck in the same gear until you actually get to the top of the hill. Don't shift until you're up there. But he's been, he's been shifting. I've been shifting. Note to self, don't shift. <laughs> you know, I uh, I got a buddy who's uh, we could we could uh, take a couple of months and go help a buddy of mine. Oh yeah, where's he at? He's a logger. How does it pay well? It pays pretty good. All you do is cut down trees. He's got all the equipment. What, uh, when would we, when would we go? I don't know, maybe there's a, maybe during, uh, just after hunting season. So we, we, would we be gone for winter or? Well, we could just go for like a couple of weeks. I was going to say, if we can get, if we could get there before it snows, because once again, we got those contracts we got to keep. So, mm -hmm. um, whoa, what just freaking happened? I, I want my but he's always looking for a couple of hands. You know, we could give him a couple of weeks. <laughs> give him a hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much does it pay per person? Well, I think we get a percentage of how much we bring in. Okay. So if we can, if we could get a whole semi truck load of wood, then uh, we get a percentage. 
of the truckload. That sounds like a great deal, actually. Yeah. It just, it's like it really determines on us, you know. Okay. But I could, I could, I could uh, talk to him and see what he thinks, you know. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's find out and see if it's, if we can do it. Well, Mike has got a, uh, a friend of his owns a logging company, and they want us to come, maybe come out there for the end of this month, beginning of next month, and do some logging and make some money for our farm. Well, it would be great because we need money. So I think we'll go do that. That sounds like a great idea. Because really, honestly, once we get this stuff wrapped, it's pretty much we're just waiting for it to... Make the sell, you know? Yeah. We could, we could take, just take a ride up and... I, well, I have to give him a call. Make sure he hasn't filled any of the spots. Yeah, give him a call. See, we could, we could go out there, well, uh, this month, obviously, and, and maybe spend a couple weeks out there, come back early December. Mm-hmm. Because usually... Oh, whoops. I forgot the rhythm. You know, it, it might not snow till January. Yeah, it so. usually doesn't seem to snow around here till January. So, yeah, you're right. This Out here in the Midwest. Where is he located? Chainsaw Valley. Oh, yeah. Isn't that like in Minnesota or Wyoming or something like that? Um, it might be. Hang on, I want to turn automatic drop on. There we go. Farm simulator. <laughs> Chainsaw Valley. It can, it can be anywhere you want. <laughs> All right, so I've dropped our first bale already. And that's, that means we're going to get a decent amount. Because this part's not even fertilized or anything. Uh, I think it was 100% plus 85. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh wait, am I on the field already? Oh, I am on the field. Yeah. Okay, okay, I didn't realize. Mm -hmm. I thought I was still on the, the sidelines. But, no, this is all part of that field. You're correct. I think I think I think is uh, I think he's out in like uh, Washington area something like that. Washington State, okay, yeah. I w I've heard of Chainsaw Valley only because of the TV show, but I don't can't remember what state it's in. It's real pretty. All right, I'm up for it. Let's do it. Man, it is brisk out here. <laughs> this tractor, I, I'm glad I wore my gloves. This tractor is really cold to, to run. <laughs> no wonder you uh, wanna... I don't have the wind on me in this one. But... Yeah, I was going to say, I can see why you took the white today. <laughs> Well, yeah. I just like these. I like these old big tractors like this. I bet you do. <laughs> They're my favorite. No, this is still a nice tractor, but could use a cab. Well, if Grandpa was here, he wouldn't be too happy, though. We haven't washed his tractor since we used it. Yeah, we will have to get a washer here eventually. <clears throat> Let's see how the first set of bales do, and we'll... We definitely need to get a water trailer so we can get strawberry production or uh, not strawberry, but veggie production going. Wait, what's going on? Is this thing sucking up? Oh, yeah, there we go. Small amounts of suck up. And I just, I realized I picked white foil. I didn't, I didn't change the foil color. I, I apologize for that. It, but that's I guess it's okay because right. we know which ones are which now. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. 
different colors for different wraps. Yep. Did you see they had that fast bail at the dealership? No. It does this, but you don't have to stop. Really? Yeah. The only downside is that you have to, it, it runs a lot slower. So like with this one, I get to go seven miles per hour until I have to stop with that one in order to keep it from having to stop. They kind of cap the speed. So it runs more like three or four miles an hour. Uh, right. But you never have to. It, it's continuous. You don't ever have to like stop and unload a bale. And so, I still I don't think know. that's better because because you can't you can't really cut grass efficiently if you're flying through it anyway. Right. True that. So, I still. You know, I I could go faster if I wanted to, but I wouldn't get the grass cut right. Right. Nah, at some point I'd like it to get a, a windrower though. They're not that expensive. Maybe that'll be part of our next purchase here. Yeah, it just depends if we want to get hay. We want to do hay or, or not too. Yeah. Oh well, then we need a tether on top of it. <laughs> yeah. If we get animals at some point, we'll need to do hay. I don't know if I want to do animals. They're a lot of upkeep. They are a lot of upkeep. Wouldn't be able to take off and go when you want to. You know, you got to stick around and True. feed them and everything. Dang animals. Always demanding. Yeah. It depends if I can find some unlucky lady in town here. Unlucky. <laughs> hey, cousin, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a, a a bitter cold lesson. Oh, I don't need these on anymore. I left my hazards on. Next time, don't let Micah take the white. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to switch, I'll switch with you. Oh, no, I'm just having fun. It's actually kind of nice out. Now the sun's come up, it's getting a little bit warmer. It's supposed to hit the, the, the mid-60s by this afternoon. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I got it. We got a bail on the nice. road. push this off here sorry mr. traffic there we go push that off to the side making all kinds of traffic havoc up here sorry sorry everybody yeah you're gonna get the cops called on us yeah <laughs> Now uh, we got it all taken care of. It's good. So, folks, we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this. We're gonna we'll get our lawn mode here, and so far we've got one, two, three, number four coming up here. Bales. Definitely gonna bring some money in with that. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Bye. <laughs> all right. So Mike is gonna. Mike and I are gonna swap. Um, he's going to take over the bailing. Ooh, I hope that didn't ruin that, doing that in the middle of the cycle. Uh, I'm going to start picking these bales up. And because uh, I have the arms on my tractor and he does not. So we're going to go ahead and grab bale. And oh, look, he, made, he mowed all of this. Look at that. <laughs> attention to detail, Micah. Attention to detail. Ass is money. That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of bales. That's good, though. That's what we wanted.
quickie arms. Hopefully this is enough. Can we, did you, were you able to pick up two bales at a time or was that too much? Uh, yeah, I was. You just have to be careful because you'll skate around a little bit. Do we need to get a bigger weight, do you think? If you watch the tractor as you're moving around, and you'll you'll see you're sliding. Slippage. If I keep the center of gravity low, maybe it won't really have a problem. There we go. Pick up the sausages. Oh, yeah. It's close. I mean, it really is right on that balancing act, like, or balancing edge. Oh, boy. This is a good little tractor. Oops. Doing. Yeah, that works out well. Actually, it could use another 500 pounds on the back, probably. Oh, yeah. Like, I think this one's a 1,000 pounder. You could take this up to 1,500 pounds and that'd probably balance it out just a little bit. Oh, did you get that bailing all done already? Look at that. No, I'm just, uh... This bale's almost ready to go, so I thought I'd get some of this stuff you left. Oh, I see the trails. Okay. We'll grab that. That was not the cleanest grab. <laughs> it's a little crooked. Baboo. Baboo. Yeah, it starts to float as soon as you get that first bail. Take care of your chickens and ducks, Babs. Style. Look at this. Double bailing it. All right, Micah, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this, and then I will uh, we'll, we'll catch up with the viewers once we're closer to being done. But uh, this is going good so far. This is going to take us a little while to get done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have finished this part of the journey. Micah is still on the other end. Seeing if he can't just squeeze out one more bale. Poop it out, Micah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We got the same amount of bales. Did we? Yeah, so fertilizing did nothing. Were these fields were not fertilized last time, were they or were they? No, but they were fully grown. Oh. Uh, well, I guess that's the, the we can expect 16 bales. All right, I'm going to take the uh, thing back. Take the thing back. And uh, let's see. What do you think? Should we keep that weight for the tractor or just leave it? Was it rented? Um, No, but I was thinking about, you know, buying a bigger one so that next time we don't have that problem with the tractor skating. If you think it'll fix it, then, uh, well, we'll, we only have 2,500, though. Yeah, we still need to roll this. Mm-hmm. Hermione! Hermione! I'll be right back, folks. Micah's going to be bringing the roller back with his pickup truck. A painstaking process that he will soon learn that he will have wished 
that he hadn't said yes. <laughs> we have to roll our fields. Uh, did you have a chance, Micah, to talk to your friend yet about going to do lumber for the month? Yeah, he said uh, any time. Okay. So we'll head out there, I guess, uh, before November is over. And how long can we be there for? Like a week or two, he said? Yeah, as soon as hunting season's over in that area, then we'll be uh, then we'll be okay to go. Okay, out. so that like the so second week in November. Be a weeks, yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll go out for a week or two and try to make some extra income. We are really low on income right now, but when we get back, we'll have money from that, and we'll have money from selling these bales because these should be done by the th these should be cooked by the time we get home in December. And then we're going into the winter season, so we'll have to uh, use a little bit of money, unfortunately, to buy. Well, we're gonna have to need a. We need a water trailer to get strawberries started. We're also gonna need to buy a um, a, pl a couple plows for our tractor. Um, I mean, we could do. Do you wanna? I guess we could probably just buy plows and plow. There's a jump 30. What were the differences between these? Obviously, the tornado is the nicest one. That's expensive. We'll have to figure it out. If I got to buy two, we'll probably just get plows. Oh, man. This tractor got really messy. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Micah, what did you do? <laughs> I'm just mowing. Do you need me to come get help you get that? Uh, do you have the roller yet or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you coming back at like four miles an hour? Seven, yeah. Yeah, that thing's kind of a pain in the butt. It's all right. I don't want to damage the roller. It's being got a trailer. <laughs> yeah, that's really what that roller needs is a trailer, isn't it? Unfortunately, we don't have yeah. one. Or just to buy one. Yeah, eventually we will. <laughs> As we get more bales on, too, then we can have our truck pull the trailer in, put bales on itself, do it all in one trip. I'm coming to get you. Oh, it's so quiet. I cannot believe this tractor's in this state. <laughs> oh, Grandpa would roll over in his grave. I gotta clean this thing. <laughs> Look how pretty Elm Creek is in the fall. I love it here. This is definitely my favorite time of year. Yeah, you like it too? My gosh, I can't believe I haven't found you yet. Hey, I'll grab it from here, Mr. Micah. You sure? Yeah, I don't want to rip you to rip your transmission out. I'm sure that thing's already overheated. In a crappy Dodge. <laughs> there you go. Especially this hill, man. That would kill you. No, not this thing. I'm going <laughs> to... I'll be half an hour. Actually, it's, it's keeping up at 7, so that's not too bad. At some point, we need to buy one of these and just keep it on the farm so we don't have to keep rolling this back and forth. <laughs> Or you can just get a trailer. Yeah, or a trailer, yeah. It's not too bad. They're only 5000 bucks, But it, if you get the whole set, you can do much wider fields, you know, like you go a wider path. Right. But it's 15000 bucks then, so I don't know. But this is pretty funny. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh, I love the I love the fact I forgot this tractor has that uh, the notch on the front that shows you where to like stay online. You know, it's like that target. It's like an airplane target. I always thought of it as the Lincoln. <laughs> like a Lincoln. It does look like the Lincoln. I wonder where these. No, white wasn't owned by Ford, was it? Or no, was it? Ah, but Ford tractors used to be white. Hmm. They used to be white and red. But then they went New Holland colors, the blue. And then they got bought out by New Holland and stayed blue. Oh, come on. <laughs> Poor fellow behind me. Sorry, fellers. It's another day in paradise. Ah, there we go. There's our fields. So we're going to roll this. I don't know. I, I might have to wait till next month. Oh, no. It's rolling. And we don't have to roll the not the part of the field that we don't really care for. We don't have to roll, right? We just need to roll the main fields. I'll tell you what, if I get two of these next year, we could, we could, we could get two of these and you could actually help to, to roll it. We could both be out here rolling, get it done a lot faster. Oh yeah. You're like, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. More work. Yay. You gotta admit though, tractor work is fun. It is, it is a lot of fun. It's a blast. Somebody's dog is whining. Ah, I hang on, folks. I'll be right back. All right, so my, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. In uh, we're going to go. Uh, Mike and I talked to that dude, and we are uh, good to go. Like we said earlier, uh, to Chainsaw Valley. So. Uh, during the month of November, we will be in Chainsaw Valley doing some work there, trying to earn some money for the farm. And then when we get back, we should have a little income from that. Plus, we'll be able to, you know, have some income from the sale of our, our first uh, round of bales. So uh, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So next time we'll see you, we will be in Chainsaw Valley. And uh, are you looking forward to it, Mr. Micah? Yeah, I just, I'm going to get a hold of him and make sure that we can get a set date. Okay, cool. Uh, so, cool. Yeah. Make sure nice to make in. sure to book them airline tickets too, so we can get out there. <laughs> we might have to take a private, a little private plane. So. Oh really? Okay. Ooh. Sounds good to me. <laughs> if you want to fly a ride, it might take a little. Just depends how much time we got. Yeah. True. That. True that. How much does a private cost? Oh, they're just those little prop planes. Oh, so you like hire? You still got your your pilot license, don't you? No. Uh. -uh. No, okay. No. But we would we would hire someone to take us. Yeah, they could we could probably find some guy to get us in there. Okay, cool. That would be fun. Bush planes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time and uh we'll definitely have fun on this farm. This has been great. I love the season and I love my tractor. This is a great tractor. We are gonna clean it up hopefully soon here. So anyway. You wanna say bye? Bye guys. Bye everybody. See you next time.